The reason why our sacred mana is so sacred is Hawaiians have a deep belief that we are connected in genealogy by blood to the land. Our sky father, Wakea, gave birth as his first child, Kamakahiapo o Mauna Kea, the, mount, the mountain itself. The mountain itself is the firstborn son of our God, and it is being desecrated. And like the God of Christianity, the observatory is on top of the mountain. It's like a crown of thorns, and our God is by being killed. It sounds like a very large telescope uh, and a very expensive one as well. Paint a picture. How imposing is this going to be on the mountain? Okay, well, this is a conservation district now. Um, the state took this land and said um, the... Hawaiian homes and the Office of Hawaiian Affairs cannot have it because it's conservation district. And then they turn around and they're commercializing it. So it's a very suspect precedent. Um, the TMT, 30-meter telescope itself, is 19 and a half stories, the size of a skyscraper, the size of a football stadium. Um, the poison it contains is like the poisons of the 13 previous telescopes, which are much smaller in scale, but mercury seeps into the main aquifer of Hawaii Island, which encompasses most of the land in, in all of Hawaii is on this island. So it's not just a cultural and spiritual concern, it's an environmental as well, concern as well. You're concerned that the, the toxins, the, the chemicals used at the telescope, at yes. the observatory, would actually leak into the water supply. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct, and that is what is appalling about this. This land had been taken from the public trust and put into conservation, and yet they're turning around and developing on the land and poisoning it. Um, the endangered species on this um, summit have pretty much almost gone extinct because of it, including the Mamane Forest, which is a um, Hawaiian plant which sheltered Hawaiian birds. And we know that when the ecosystem in any area is not doing well, that affects everyone down the chain. And we know that these regulations exist for a reason. They're being blatantly and belligerently ignored. This is not just a Hawaiian problem. This is a problem across the state and, for, and across the world when we have a government saying, we're going to conserve this, so we're going to take it from you, and then turning around and making all these exceptions to poison it. This, this program, though, this project, it has multinational funding, uh, $1.4 billion. Please. It's got uh, the University of Hawaii, University of California, uh, yes, sir. amongst many other groups uh, funding this telescope. What are they telling you? What are they saying is the reason why it has to go ahead? Um, they, say, they say it's for the world's knowledge to grow. But I have this to offer instead. Our Polynesian people didn't have to come and desecrate the mountain to learn uh, astrology. They learned to travel thousands of miles back and forth across the Pacific. And to this day, the Western science cannot replicate that without instruments. So what value does it have for us at all? Um, pretty pictures, but temporary value for permanent damage. It is not worth it for us. The money doesn't stay here. It is just a travesty. So there is a, uh, a peaceful protest happening at the groundbreaking ceremony. Yes, sir. Uh, what happens yes, sir. At, that, at that protest? Okay, right now I, I would let people know that there's 200 people here and we are growing. They blockaded the road up on the summit so we cannot enter our sacred area. Um, so we are planning to blockade their blockade down at the visitor center and not let any of them in. Um, we hope to make a statement that this is not okay. The public opinion, this is not democracy. What they're doing is corporation, and corporations rule the government. This is not a democracy. We need to stand, and the voice of the people need to be heard, Hawaiians and non-Hawaiians alike. It's Anybody who respects nature, respects the aquifer, we need water to live. This is just out of this world. It sounds like you are very dedicated. Beyond today, beyond yes, today's uh, blockade of the blockade, what's planned, yes, or is this the end of, of the fight? No, no, sir. Um, we have a great legal team um, assembling where we plan to pursue 
international law. This is a war crime. The seizure of um, Hawaiian lands is illegal. The kingdom was never um, peaceably given over by democracy. It's um, illegally occupied according to international law. And because they have seized these lands and they are not ceded as they claim, they have no title. It is a war crime. It's called pillaging. And we plan to pursue that in international court. In um, our state court that exerts jurisdiction, we plan to pursue the idea that, hey, they don't have a clear title. Show us the title. No title exists. This is a military occupation. It's an illegal occupation. They don't even have title to the land.